Hi dear students this is BS Academy Grade 10 Physics in this video we are going to discuss about the image formation by concave mirror see this image formation by concave mirror is consist of six cases so we are going to discuss one by one so for this we have to draw the concave mirror first of all okay so see now let us draw the concave mirror we know how to draw the concave mirror so this is the concave mirror and this is the faded for part of the concave mirror this is the point called pole and this is center of curvature and the line which is joining the center of curvature and the pole is called as principal axis okay and the center point this center point is called as principal focus right so we have drawn the concave mirror this is the faded part of the concave mirror and this is the reflecting surface of the concave mirror and this p is nothing but pole of the reflecting surface of the concave mirror and this is center of curvature and this is principal focus okay right now what we are going to do we are going to place the object in the left hand side of the mirror it means in front surface of the reflecting surface of the mirror so always the object should be placed in front of the reflecting surface of the mirror right so we are going to place the object first of all in the distance of infinite infinity so at infinite distance we are imagining the object so it is represented by this arrow mark so consider this as the object which is at the infinite distance okay now the light rays emitting from this object is going to incident on the mirror and we know what will happens after it is falling on the mirror it gets reflected okay so likewise see one of the incident ray for the clear understanding of the ray diagram we are using only two incident rays okay so this is one of the incident ray this is one of the incident ray and this is another incident ray so we have considered two incident rays so this incident ray is falling on this reflecting surface of the concave mirror we know what will happen it will reflected it get reflect so when it is reflecting it has to pass through some particular path is it not so to find out the path in which this reflected ray is going to move we have to recall the rules we have studied some four rules no so what is the first rule whenever the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis then the reflected ray should passes through the focus so see we have to apply that rule by applying the rules only we have to draw the light uh, rays so we can understand the light rays by following the rules only so see apply the first rule over here what is the first rule when the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis this is the principal axis so this incident ray is parallel to this principal axis therefore after reflection this ray has to pass through the focus principal focus so this is one of the reflected ray now consider the another incident ray see this incident ray is also parallel to the principal axis so therefore what will happen this incident ray will also get reflected and the reflected ray should passes through the focus so this is the another reflected ray okay is it clear children right so this is the object which is placed at infinite distance and the incident rays are emerging from the object we have considered the two incident rays so this incident ray is parallel to the principal axis therefore after reflection it has to pass through the focus same way this incident ray is also falling on the mirror therefore it when it gets reflected it has to pass through the focus okay so we are applying the same rule first rule 
Now see what happens. This is one of the reflected ray and this is another reflected ray. These two reflected rays are meeting at a particular point. So wherever the two reflected rays meet, there the image is going to be formed. So here in this particular case, in this first case, in this first case, see the reflected rays are meeting at this point. So where it is meeting, see this point is called as what we have previously discussed. This is principal focus. So particularly these reflected rays are meeting in this particular point that is principal focus. So here only we are going to get the image. See we can place the screen over here. In this point we can place the white screen so that we can able to obtain the image at this particular point. For example see when the object is placed at the infinite it means you can imagine some object for example tree. For example if the tree is at infinite distance from this mirror See, this object will be obtained as a image in this particular point F on the screen, white screen. So, we will get the inverted image over here like this. We will get the inverted image of this object tree at this particular point F when the screen is placed in this point. Okay. So, it means what? When the object is placed when the object is placed at infinity, then the image is formed at the principal focus at F. Okay, image is formed at F. Now see we can write what is the position of the object. See what is the position of the object? The object is placed at infinity. So the position of the object is at infinity. Then what is the position of the image? See where the image is formed at F. The image is formed at F. And what will be the nature of the image? See, I told you that when screen is placed at this point F, we, will, we can able to see the inverted image of this object. So it means what this image is obtained on the screen. We already know the image when, when it obtains on the screen, then that image is called as real image okay and I also told you we can able to see the inverted image over here so therefore we can say the nature of the image is real it means it obtained on the screen and also the image is inverted image is inverted so therefore the nature of the image is real and inverted right See next the size of the image. What will be the size of the image? See when compared to the size of the object, the size of the image is very small. Because just imagine students, imagine the size of the tree, it will be more high, no? So the size of the tree will be very high, whereas that image of this tree is obtained on a small screen. Okay, it is obtained on the small screen. So it means what? That much smallest image we are getting over here. So when compared to the size of the long tree, the size of the image will be very, very, very small. So therefore we can say it is the point sized image. It is point sized image. So what will be the size of the image? Image will be point sized. Okay, point sized image or diminished image diminished when compared to the size of the object the size of the image will be very very small so therefore we can call it as point sized image is it clear students so this is the first case of the concave mirror can you have to understand see once again i am explain, explaining you See the position of the object is infinity. It means what object is placed at infinity. When the object is placed at infinity, where the image will be formed? That is what the first case. So what is happening? The incident ray is falling on the mirror, concave mirror like this. Since the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, the reflected ray passes through the focus. Again, this incident ray is falling on the mirror it gets reflected and it passes through the focus 
so the two reflected rays are meeting at a particular point that is the point where the image is formed so the position of the image is at focus and what will be the nature of the image if you place the screen at this point f we can able to see the image this image on the screen it means this image is obtained on the screen so we know the image that obtained on the screen is called as real image and also we can able to see the inverted image therefore the nature of the image is real and inverted then what will be the size of the image when compared to the size of the tree the image obtained on the screen will be very very small therefore we can say the size of the image is point sized image is it clear children so this is about the first case of the concave mirror likewise we are going to discuss about remaining five cases of the concave mirror one by one